Hello there guys, my name is Chris Jardonks to one bot built for Theme Park News and welcome to another Theme Park Newsroom update. I bet this harmonica is starting to really bore you now. <laughs> But anyway, today, guys, we're going to be talking about Dream World Australia, and we're going to be talking about something that was last released. This article was actually released mid February. I'm about a couple of months behind this. Uh, but I wanted to talk about it now because I felt like now is the right time, especially with the work that's going on. So, we're going to talk about a little bit of construction work on the dark grey supports that's been going up for the new coaster. And we'll talk about the opening date of the coaster, whether it is going to be 2020 or 2021. And as well as that, we're also going to be talking about this brand new potential rename for the Hot Winders, uh, Hot Wheels Sidewinder. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in. We're nearly, nearly there. We're getting close to 2,000 subscribers. So use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into today's video. I think it's starting to bore me now as well. <laughs> so today comes from Dream World Australia, and we're going to be talking about two things to do, 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 to do with Dream World Australia. And this is the new coaster, the new map launch. I'll talk about a little bit about more uh, in a little bit. But also, we're going to talk about the Hot Wheels Sidewinder and give you guys some statistics on that and also give you a bit of an update as to what is happening. So the article comes from Parks. Uh, I'm not sure what country they're based in, but they are a new site. This article is back in mid-February, but again, like I said, it's taken until now to talk about it. And we're going to be talking about all we know. So this article is mainly talking about the Hot Wheels Sidewinder and talking about the opening date of the coaster, the new one, the new mat launch. Um, but we're also going to be talking about some of the latest construction updates that were spotted as well. So, away from the article, I spotted on the Coast Force forum uh, that dark grey supports or grey supports are now on site for the new coaster. Uh, for those of you who don't know anything about this new coaster, I'm going to talk about it right now. So, this coaster is apparently set to open or first set to open uh, in late 2020. So, getting towards the winter time. But of course, don't forget Australia's summer is our winter, so it's their summer. So, you know, technically that's all right. Uh, however, obviously there's been a bit of talk that maybe it could be 2021. However, I don't think that's the case. I think it will be late 2020. I think it'll still be open by the end of this year, uh, of course, because of the time differences and things like that. So I personally believe that Australia will go through, you know, that period. And I think that they are going to open this coaster at the end of 2020. But for those of you who need a little bit more statistics on it, we've got it's a matte launch coaster. It's near enough a clone of Blue Fire. However, the only difference is you've got a nice uh, half pipe, half spike type element, uh, like a curved spike element. Uh, and also, the last car on the ride is a spinning car. So it's mainly it's, it's, it's a matte launch coaster. It's a clone of Blue Fire with a curved spike at the back to do multi launch. And also, it has a spinning car at the back as well. Uh, so, you know, in terms of the launch, it is a multi pass launch. So basically, the single pass uh, will, well, this will use a forward to backward to forward multi pass launch, incorporating a vertical spike and switch track. Last of the last of the one of the two trains, the last car on one of the two trains will spin. Uh, it also includes an inline twist, a twisted horseshoe roll, a loop. Uh, overall four inversions. It has a tramp length of 3,494.1 feet, a height of 128 feet, a speed of 62.1 miles per hour, a bank angle of 94 degrees, and G-force of 4 Gs. And it has a capacity of 820 riders per hour. And it's set to open. Uh, according to Relicos data space in 2020. So that's all to do with this new coaster. Now, Hot Wheels Sidewinder. Now this one has an eventful history. Now, obviously this ride first opened as the Big Dipper at Luna Park in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. And it was operated from 1995 until the 27th of January, 2001. The park still operates now, however it was 2001, the start, the very start of 2001, where this whole coaster came down and it was transported and on the 26th of December, so Boxing Day 2001, it was installed at Dreamworld Australia as the Hot Wheels Sidewinder. Now of course it didn't use that name before 
from the opening day right up until Christmas Day 2015, it used the name Cyclone, and then uh, the ride was rethemed at the end of 2015, and the train was replaced with a new Vacoma train with onboard audio and given the name Hot Wheels Sidewinder. Now, this is an, originally an Arrow Custom Looper, uh, so Vortex that recently got removed at Kings Island over in Ohio, um, Anaconda at Kings Dominion. This is a classic Arrow looping ghoster. Uh, this has a length of 2,952.8 feet, a height of 131.3 feet, a speed of 52.8 miles per hour, and two inversions, a loop and a reverse sidewinder. Now, of course, it used the name Hot Wheels Sidewinder, however, maybe not for much longer. Now, the article does state, um, you know, Further down the article, after talking about this new, yet to be named launch coaster, which is, of course, if you need any extra facts on that, it is the first new roller coaster since Buzzsaw, which was the Marathon Skyloop coaster uh, back in 2011. Uh, now, obviously, it, it also talks about how it was the most unusual time and the fact that a attraction without a name is unusual, but certainly not unprecedented in the world of theme parks. I completely disagree with that. I don't think it's unusual because there are many parks out there, out there that don't announce the new coaster with a name straight away. You obviously, you look at the Secret Weapon Projects at Alton Towers. Uh, you look at all over stuff in Europe and America. You know, we haven't got proper confirmed names for most of these projects yet. So, you know, it's not unusual in any way, shape or form. I completely disagree with that statement. Uh, but I can see where he's coming from. You know, it's quite unusual to not name a coaster straight away. Uh, I can see where he's coming from, but I think with other projects, I kind of disagree with that statement. Uh, now, Dreamworld dropped tidbits about an update coming to the Hot Wheels Sidewinder that will see the ride drop its Hot Wheels branding. This will mark the fourth time this roller coaster has been renamed, having started its life as the Big Dipper at Sydney's Luna Park before the relocation where it operates to Cyclone at Dreamworld between 2001 and 2015, which we already talked about. Now, back in February, Dreamworld said they have some exciting news about the roller coaster known as Sidewinder. This attraction will be rebranded to give the attraction a fresh new facelift. When visiting the park, you'll see the works on Sidewinder have already commenced. Now, they're still yet to announce a name for that for the new coaster or the information about the Sidewinder re-theme. But trademark applications filed by Dreamworld owners, Ardent Leisure in recent months, gave very strong clues about the two very different coaster projects. Now the Dreamworld for comment on the trademark applications, however, they did not hear back from them at the publication. So Parks are still yet to get a comment from Dreamworld about these publications. So we're going to talk about three names uh, that have been trademarked or potentially trademarked or reportedly trademarked. And we're going to talk about which ones would fit each, you know, attraction out of the two. Basically the launch coaster and of course the uh, Sidewinder re thing. So let's start with, and, you got, and to be fair, with when sort of deciding about this, you've got to look at... Um, you know, you've got to look into the colour schemes currently for the ride. Are they going to get a repaint? Uh, obviously, the the Sidewinder coaster's got the new trains, so I don't think new trains will be coming on anytime soon. They may repaint them, but maybe not new trains. Uh, so you've got to look at the Matt Launch coaster first of all. That's got a nice orangey with a dark grey support. Uh, and then with Hot Wheels Sidewinder, you've got like a, again a great a lighter grey support, and you've got a more yellow track rather than orange. Uh, so let's look at these names. So first of all, on the 25th of September 2019, Ardent Leisure applied for the trademark on the names Gold Coaster and Gold Coaster. Now the difference between the two, even though they sound exactly the same, there's one where Gold Coaster is just one name and the G in gold and the C in Coaster is capital, so it's Gold Coaster is one name. Uh, but with the capitals G and C, which is a bit weird. And Gold Coaster is two separate uh, two separate words. So it's one of the two. Uh, now, it's almost a wonder no Gold Coast theme park has jumped on this name, and it's a pun that stares you in the face, but it's good daring you to use it, according to Parks. Let's just hope they choose the two-word version in favour of the painfully overdone Camel Case variant, as they call it. Um, now, the name would be a legit log logical fit for Ocean Parade Area at Dreamworld, home to Hot Wheels Sidewinder. It's something of a blank slate of a name, and the troop will be seeing exactly how it makes use of the popular Go Gold Coast iconography. It'd certainly be a welcome return for the surrounding area's theme following five years where the large-scale thrill ride was themed to a children's toy. Now, another name here is Steel Ty 
Taipane or Taipan. I'm not sure if it's, if it's a silent I or not. Now a Taipan or Taipane is a type of snake. So a steel snake basically. Uh, so in late November 2019, Ardent Leisure followed up with their Gold Coaster application with the trademark application for the names Steel Taipan and Hysteria. Uh, now someone had snakes on their mind with these two names while also following naming trends in the US that have been seen roller coasters like Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point or of course the brand new uh, SNS Multilooper for last year at Kennywood Steel Curtain in recent years. Steel also allows Dreamworld to neatly separate the ride from the Gold Coast other major attraction for 2020. SeaWorld's forthcoming Leviathan Coaster, which is of course the Gravity Group wooden coaster at SeaWorld Australia. Not to do with SeaWorld Parks, of course, in Orlando, San Diego and San Antonio. This is a different SeaWorld. This is a completely different SeaWorld uh, to the other company in America. This is Sea Space World. <laughs> Not the one word. Um, the decidedly cringeworthy Hysteria name was registered a few days prior to Steel Taipan, so they hope to assume they can quickly come to their senses and realise that trying to one-up the competition in the most convoluted ride name category isn't a winning strategy. Steel Taipan, on the other hand, paints an intimidating picture. The name takes its cues from the most venomous type of snake in the world responsible for four confirmed deaths over the years, while lending itself perfectly to the tangled mess of track and the natural bush landscaping depicted in the concept art of their new launch roller coaster. It not only ties in with the Australiana Journey Dreamworld that have been on in recent years with Dreamworld, Corabi and Sky Voyager, but Steel Taipan is also a sound thematic fit for the area's rustic gold rush theme and the adjacent bus or attraction. Of course, there's one thing we learnt with Sky Voyager, and that's when it comes to attraction names, trademark applications aren't necessarily a perfect predictor. Dreamworld first registered the name Flyover Australia in December 2017. By March, they cancelled this application, and in September, they registered Skyrider, spelled R-Y-D-E-R, and as one word as well, and very quickly abandoned that plan to make one last trademark application that finally stuck, and that, of course, was Sky Voyager. Now, of course, Sky Voyager is their flying theatre attraction, if you didn't know already. Now, like we said, Dreamworld is expected to open the new coaster in late 2020, with construction set to commence in coming months. And, of course, that's already started by now. Hot Wheels, Sidewind... This is, this is February article. This is a February article, so, you know, it's started by now. Uh, Hot Wheels, Sidewinder is currently closed for maintenance until March 27th, but, of course, obviously, the park's usually closed because of the coronavirus, uh, suggesting, perhaps, that its relaunch could happen in time for the Easter school holidays. But, of course, again, because of the COVID-19 crisis, that has been moved. So, I think that once the park opens, I think Sidewinder will open as well. So, let's talk about those names, then. Gold Coaster, Steel Taipan, and Hysteria. Hysteria sounds ridiculous, so I'm going to eliminate that straight away. Now we're stuck with the two, and I think the Parks article have got that right. I think that Steel Taipan will be for the brand new coaster, and I think the Gold Coaster will be for Hot Wheels Sidewinder, in my opinion. I think that Gold Coaster suits perfectly for Sidewinder and for that whole Gold, Co Gold Coast area. And I think with Steel Taipan, I think when it comes to announcing the finished name for the ride and announcing the whole ride in full with the, uh, the colours, uh, with the POV, with the animated flyovers, with the trailer for it, once the park fully announced this coaster, you are going to see an incredible looking theme for this ride. And again, it says in the article... It surrounds near Bussaw, which is around this rustic western theme. So they can integrate. Look at Copperhead Strike at Carowinds. That's a Mac double launch. That's a Mac launch coaster based on Granny's Moonshine, the snakes coming with the factory and sort of tampered with it, I guess. Uh, so it's that whole integrating a snake with the theme of the area and the theme of the brand new area that went with Copperhead Strike. So, Carowinds did a really good job integrating the stake into the story. And I think Dreamworld Australia could do exactly the same thing here. I think we are looking at a rustic theme with the steel type and moved in, and that is your coaster. So, I think I'm going to jump to conclusions very, very quickly. I, If they've got some sensors, I believe that steel type and will be for... Uh, the coaster for the launch coaster and I think the gold coaster will be for the Hot Wheels Sidewinder re-theme now of course like we said at the end of the article these trademarks and these applications aren't final so they could change they could be removed they could be added to we don't know yet 
there. Now, I want to talk about that third name, Hysteria. Now, I don't think that suits any of the coasters. It's a ridiculous name for a coaster. But, if they want to keep all three names, I think Hysteria would suit for a really good flat ride. Now, I might be wrong about this. I might be completely wrong about this. But I think the name Hysteria would be very good for a nice, long-looking flat ride. Now, what type of flat ride? I don't even want to get guessing because I'll, I'll talk about it for days and I know I know you guys love me talking right but I don't want to talk for days and days and days because this camera would run out of battery faster than one of Mo Farah's sprints at the Olympics <laughs> uh, so I think to jump to conclusions if I could pick one type just one for now as a quick prediction off the spot the skyscraper attractions. Now, if you don't know what I mean, look at teaser videos for the new ones coming to Six Flags or set to come to Six Flags this year, but I think will come next year instead. Catwoman's Whip at Six Flags St. Louis and Adirondack Outlaw at The Great Escape. Something like one of those skyscraper attractions would work very, very well at the park. And I think the name Hysteria would work very, very well. If if the coaster's gonna be named the new launch coaster from Mac, if that's gonna be named Steel Taipan, I would suggest finding a nice spot near the coaster, obviously not very near because you're going to collide, which is be, you know, tragic, but have have a nice decent plot of land, if you can find one, near, as near to the coaster as you can without bumping into it and of course without being too far away that it won't make sense being in that area in the first place, then you'd have a good, you know, use for that name Hysteria. But again, like we said, applications and trademarks, they can change, they can get removed. We don't know at this stage, but if I was to make a prediction, if, if, and only if, they were going to keep all three trademarks, Hysteria I would use for some kind of flat ride, like a skyscraper flat ride, like I mentioned, or a different type of flat ride somewhere else in that, around that area. I would use Steel Taipan for the coaster, the new Matt Launch coaster, and I would use the Gold Coaster, or Gold Coaster, for the re-theme of Hot Wheels Sidewinder. And I'm kind of glad that Sidewinder's getting rethemed because I hated the Hot Wheels branding. As soon as the Hot Wheels branding came in, and I've, I've studied this part for a few years now, so, you know, even though I wasn't doing videos on it a few years ago, I have been looking at this park and I've been really interested in this park. So, I think that it's good to see the Hot Wheels branding go. I wasn't a massive fan of it, and I know a lot of people weren't a massive fan of the Hot Wheels branding, so, you know, I think they'll be very, very happy. And Guys, comment down below what you think. Do you, if if the Sidewinder re-theme will be known as the Gold Coaster, will you be happy with that? If Steel Taipan was the name of the coast, the new Matt Launch Coaster for the end of this year, going into 2021, again, comment down below your thoughts. Should Hysteria be kept? Should it be used for a new, another ride, a new, another new ride? Again, comment down below your thoughts. Do you think any other names will work for either three of the coasters? Comment down below. Uh, and for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this Theme Park Newsroom update. Now, of course, you've probably seen the video yesterday. Um, you know, our latest uh, Theme Park video. But you've also seen the first episode of Talking BGT. Chal Chats Talking BGT. I want to remind you guys of something. And it's something that I talked to the free press about. This is not just my passion, this YouTube channel about theme parks. It's also an audition for me aspiring to be an actor or a TV presenter. So, stuff like the Talking BGT on this channel, even though it don't, you know, it's not the same theme as the other content on the channel, it needs to be on the main channel because I feel like it's part of what makes me me and it's part of my main content. So, and presenting work is my main content overall. Theme parks is the main thing. But having these talking BGTs and doing all this other presenting work and interviewing work and things like that, it's just as important as the theme park content. So that's why I'm keeping it on the main channel and not you know, setting up a second channel or anything like that for it. So that's why I wanted to sort of clear up that situation. And I want to give a massive shout out to House of Swag from Ireland. They were amazing. They were incredible to meet, incredible to interview. We had such a laugh. They messaged me back afterwards saying they didn't want it to end. They had such a good time. And you know what? I couldn't thank you guys even more. I wanted to try, well, I've tried reaching out to loads of other people for normal chill chats uh, and talking BGTs and, you know, those two different chat shows. Um, 
just to do something creative with this lockdown experience. And, you know, it's not the first time a Theme Park YouTube channel's done something different. Look at, you know, Theme Park Worldwide. They've done some good baking. Yes, it might be themed to theme parks or Disney, but it's still something different. Restoring the Alton Towers Bookworm. Again, it may be related to theme parks, but, you know, it's something different to what they usually do. So it may not be related to theme parks. They're talking BGT, the Chow Chats, hopefully, when that gets started as well. But it's something I love doing. And I hope you, and to be fair, you guys have been really supportive anyway. So, big thank you from me. Thank you very much for watching this theme park news and update. Don't worry though, don't worry. Just because I'm doing the talking BGT and hope for the child chats with other people as well, doesn't mean I'm not going to stop with the theme park content. I will keep going as much as I can with the theme park content. I'll keep going to the day I stop breathing. So, don't you worry, guys. Thank you very much. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep learning the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. I'm not some day.